Hi, I'm John Younger. I do the paintings that we're going to be talking about, the watercolors. Uh, I'm here representing uh, expertvillage.com. When you're applying colors uh, in watercolor, you apply light to dark. Uh, in other words, the light values are down first and you put heavier values over them. Uh, oil paintings, you can use opaque colors to paint over things cover up what's underneath. In watercolors you need to think of leaving the lights and the whites where you want them. Uh, you want to get your brush kind of full of color and let's say we're going to have a sun in this or something bright. So I would start laying in some color across the top. As you see as you lay in that color, it tends to puddle at the bottom. You can use that to your advantage if you want by laying in a heavier intensity of color as you go down the sheet. As you can see, the top is very light, and as I come down, keeping the brush kind of wet, it gets a little darker because I'm using more intense color. Now you can lay that all the way down the sheet if you'd like, but if you want to start introducing some greens or something into the bottom where your green colors are going to be, you can also do that. And as you can see, the color is kind of laying in a puddle on the bottom. There. Now as I come across with more water, I want to sweep that down. And it will tend to run off of the, the uh, paper. Also, the kind of uh, humidity that's in, the, in your studio will make a difference as to how the washes lay down because the water, the paper will dry out quicker and cause a little splotchiness. And as I said before, I'm working from light to dark. 